Hey everybody, welcome back. This is vlog number three, and today we are going to talk about song selection for our second album, God of the Mountain, and so I'll let Casey start it off. All right, so we thought we won't talk through the whole album, because that would be 13 <laughs> songs, 12 songs, it'd be a lot of songs. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna just pick a few of our favorites and kind of just go through those. So the first one that I thought we would talk about is Flea as a Bird. Oh, yeah. So this one was introduced to us by uh, Robin Wolliver. She is the mom of the Annie Moses band and we have coaching classes with her and uh, Bill Wolliver. Her husband. Yes, her <laughs> husband. And so we were working on some arrangements, doing coaching class, you know. So we, um, we were searching for more hymns because we had this project in mind, but we just didn't have a lot of repertoire yet. And she told us about this hymn that is not sung very often. It's actually very rare. Um, and she showed us a YouTube video of it, and I just fell in love immediately. Yeah, I think Casey was the first one to get on board and yeah. saying, we have to do this song. Me and Callie were, like, more hesitant and stuff. Because, yeah. I mean, like, it was our style, but yet it wasn't our style. It was a different part of our style that we hadn't really yeah. done a lot of. It's just so hauntingly beautiful. Um, I mean, it was just gorgeous. Once I heard it, and the first time I heard it, I thought, we gotta get harp on this. We gotta, we gotta do this song. Um, so originally, we were thinking that it was just gonna have to be one person singing solo, that it would be harp in a, uh, a, vocalist. a, so a vocal solo. Um, but things change, you know? <laughs> you have to go with the groove and um god just worked and me and cambry it turned out that it was going to be a duet and it turned out really beautiful mm -hmm. i mean i could have not asked for a better arrangement of this song um the just arching of the soprano um is beautiful cambry does a great job i love how you sing it too because we were practicing it i think the other day mm -hmm. and i just remember thinking that the reason that I can just soar and stuff whenever I have to go up high is because like you're floating but yet you're grounded in your part like I just feel like you're like the wind underneath my sails kind of and it's kind of like because it's kind of like a Wright brother picture yeah. kind of like how we like switch a little bit and then we even back out and then yeah. we switch and then we even back out and so I just always love picturing that whenever we're singing duet on that song that was really sweet okay <laughs> I Next song. Let's talk about Man of Sorrow. So this one was kind of born out of you. Mm -hmm. I mean, to be honest, I had I had found it in the hymnal. I had played around with it, you know, but nothing really came about. Like most of my ideas, well, you know, I have an idea yeah. and I'm like, we gotta do this. Well, and so Casey had a bunch of ideas which were very cool, but they just need to be channeled into this one amazing song. And so we have been approached as a group to perform or play at our Palm Sunday service mm -hmm. at our church. So we knew that we wanted to do a hymn, but we just didn't know which one because I mean like there were so many that had already been done for Easter and we were like, ugh, we really don't want to do one that fresh. Yeah, something fresh, fresh. Something fresh that you normally don't hear. Mm -hmm. um, and so we were looking through the hymnal and we were like, guys, we have got to pick out a song. And so I was looking through and I saw Man of Sorrows and Casey had just always loved that song so I was familiar with it and stuff and I read it and it was like the Easter story like right there and I was like guys we should totally do this song and they were like okay yeah sure we can do this. Yeah Cambry really headed up most of the arrangement of this song she just she did an incredible job with um, the instrumental parts. Um, Callie helped her with um, the changing of time signatures, <laughs> which was not easy to figure out. But and Casey, she also helps with the more like faster fiddleizing mm -hmm. stuff because I mean, yes, I came up with the intro and stuff because my instrument plays chords and stuff, but you really helped like take it for the more like, we're going, 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 gone sort yeah. of atmosphere. 
And so I think it was more of like a group thing. Like we each had our own ideas and then we put it together and then it birthed this song. Yeah, yeah. All right, song three. <laughs> what song what were we gonna talk about? Rock of Ages. Rock of Ages. Okay, this song um, was, I don't know technically who came up with the idea to do this song, but I know that God confirmed it through Callie. She was reading a book mm-hmm. and um, it quoted part of the hymn. And so, um, and that really tied into our theme of Moses. God of the Mountain was actually um, kind of the story of Moses. As we were picking these songs, we really just saw the story coming to life through um, the the theology and doctrine of the songs, which was really cool, you know, because at first we were just picking random mm-hmm. songs. We're like, oh, that'll sound really good in Camry's voice, or oh, that'll be a whole lot of fun to arrange. So, Rock of Ages... Camry really came up the idea for like a groovy western feel, Dolly Parton. Um, Well, we knew that we didn't want to do something traditional because I think that's what we dealt with a lot with this album. I think that's what we dealt a lot with this album was that we didn't want it to be traditional and we didn't want it to get, I don't know, like stuck. But like we didn't want to take it so far yeah. away from what it truly was, where it loses its genuineness to so, the hymn. I think this song was um, more, it was one of the funnest to play around with just the groove mm-hmm. and the feel of it. Yeah. Just to get it recorded and stuff. Yeah. All right, song four. Right on Moses. Okay, let's do that one. So, we were all sitting down in the living room, and almost every morning we all come in there and we sit down. Mom sits in her recliner. We, All of us girls are in our fuzzy pajamas, you know, <laughs> um, sitting on the couch, and we talk about our Bible times. And we were talking about this project and how we did need um, something interesting, something not um, heard very often. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I kind of like to search the web a little bit and dig in there. And I came across uh, this spiritual. I, I just looked up spirituals about Moses. And this came up. And it's four big, burly uh, African-American men just singing away at this song. And I thought, we have to do that song. It's awesome. So Kelly um, was a little hesitant. She yeah. was like, how are we supposed to do this song? There's three of us there's four of them they're guys we're girls that's just different yeah. and they got like they got the soul to it whenever we're more like we're good yeah so uh there was that one and that one just turned out really cool originally i was thinking it would just be acapella but kelly had the idea to bring in the bass and uh the sticks just kind of got thrown in there and then the oh, spoons there's spoons actually on that uh, track, and then the harmonica. Shout out to Scott Dupree for playing <laughs> harmonica on our album. Uh, and then, was there another song? Yeah. So was that four? That was four. That was four. All right, five. We'll do five songs. So this one is a mighty fortress is our God. This is Mom's favorite. And of course, it was the hardest to arrange because (laughs) it's just monstrous. It is just a huge, huge song. And it's a long song. I mean, the, yeah, it's a big (laughs) song. And so we had so many ideas and we were trying to figure out how to keep it interesting, how to uh, not let it die, you know, pretty much where it just kind of crumbles. But this song, it it just turned out to be a really yeah. cool song. You um, and Callie really headed that arrangement up. Yeah, yeah. I I had the idea of the whole instrumental part. I knew kind of what I wanted the piano to sound like, and I based my violin solo off of um, God Rest Ye Merry Gentlemen, uh, Annie Moses Band. They have a section where it's just Alex and Annie. Um, playing and I knew I wanted to kind of do something like that and it took forever to write out I was it was all in my brain but I was like all right I gotta gotta transcribe this so 
Um, that one just turned out to be really cool. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of anything else. Sweet Hour of Prayer, we've always really liked that one. And um, Yeah, that's one of my yeah. favorite hymns. And it says Mount Pisgah. So when we realized that this was all about Moses, we were like, okay, that's going on there. <laughs> um, but I think that's all we're going to talk about. The rest, I don't know, we might make a second video about it. So stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> stay tuned for more. So a couple of updates. One, we released Cinnamon River's music video which turned out to be super awesome mm -hmm. last Friday. Friday. Yes, <laughs> so that came out. That will be the link in the description. Also, another link in the description will be vlog two, which was released last week. So make sure you watch that one. That one was really good. That was, that was an interesting vlog. <laughs> so there's that. And then number, that was like number two. Number three. <laughs> All right, uh, we have the September 28th concert coming up for Rose Rock Daughters. This Saturday. This Saturday. You want to buy your tickets? This is going to be awesome. We've been working on this show for a while, and we finally got the lineup all done. So it's going to be amazing. We are so excited about it. So it's $10 per ticket. There's a $40 family discount. You can go to our website, Rose Rock Daughters. There should be a banner up above. And you click that banner. I'll also put the link in the description for that. <laughs> I learned what the etc. part was from last week. It's description. That's what it's called. I know. I noticed that. I was like, man, it's just sounding so professional today. Link in yes. the description. So, was there anything else? It's at 7 p.m. It's too. at 7 p.m. <laughs> bring your friends, bring your dogs, bring everybody. Bring your neighbors, bring, your bring neighbors. somebody off the highway that you just met. Yep. Bring everybody. Bring everybody. <laughs> so, I think we're going to close out with that. So, also, there's always merch on Rose Rock Daughters' uh, website. So, don't forget to get your shirts and ball caps and stickers and whatever else is on there. Posters. Posters. So, all right, we will see y'all later. Bye.